It is great to be back, and Senator Machiki, it is really great to be back, isn't it? And Aaron, too. Um, probably like me, I think your senator probably arrived uh, back home today, right? Midnight last night? You got out fast. Because we finished up legislative session late yesterday, and I uh, just got back uh, to Anchorage today myself, and I just want to say thank you for having me and ha having me here, and um, I would be remiss, too, if I didn't just give a full introduction and just say th I thank you for welcoming my wife, Sandy, because she's uh, my much better half and my wonderful partner in life, and so thank you for welcoming her tonight as well. Thanks. So caring for the Kenai, it's a pretty special night, and I've had the honor of sitting with Catherine, our first place uh, winner, and as well as her parents and others, and just reminds me about why I'm so thankful to be in Alaska at this time. Uh, not just for economic reasons, not just for uh, being good stewards of our environment, our, the great land that we live in, but because of the great people. And uh, Catherine, you represent, uh, and all of the finalists here uh, represent all that we care about and all that is best about Alaska. So I'm just really proud to be here with you. And from my... Uh, for my history with caring with the Kenai, I, I get and I understand that it is in significant part about raising environmental awareness and about being good stewards of this great land. But I saw something kind of even more special to me um, than that as I just went through the materials again that you judges this time have used and have used in the past because it made me realize what kind of leaders you're raising here. If you look at the scorecards of the, of the judges, how many of you have had a chance to do that? And I know you've, you finalists have, but yeah. Have you looked at that? I mean, the, and I, I wrote down some of the, uh, the scoring sheets because these contestants were graded on their originality of thinking about their depth of knowledge and how well they communicated their proposal. So think about that. They looked at a complex problem. They came up with a solution. They did a lot of research some development on it, that it demonstrated a deep understanding of the problem. It figured out how to, how to move it forward, figured out the appropriate technology to use, had to show the environmental benefits. Well, what is that? That's showing the value to the judges of what they're doing. That sounds a lot like leadership. And it sounds a lot like young people who are prepared to not only be leaders today, but leaders of tomorrow. Those are the skills that you'll be using every day in your life as you move forward. Uh, so tonight, I just want to say congratulations to you young people, not just, for, not just for doing a good job here, but for demonstrating that you will, and you do have that capacity to be leaders, not only, not only tonight, but well into the future. Because you're willing to use your head. You're willing to look deeply and think deeply about something and care deeply about what you've done. So that's all I'm going to say. I, I'm just so proud of, of uh, our, our finalists tonight and for everybody who participated. And I'm also especially thankful for you parents and teachers and school administrators uh, for making Caring for the Kenai possible and for the sponsors uh, because you are developing these leaders of tomorrow. God bless you and thank you. Thanks.